Say you're a non-Turkish speaker living in Tokyo. You probably aren't reading the newest bestseller in Strabzon. Well, here in Istanbul, an initiative is taking place to open up a world of literature in a variety of different languages. The aim of the annual Istanbul Fellowship Program is to bring together Turkish and foreign publishers and hopefully translate a multitude of books into new markets. The fair will see 200 participants from around 70 countries and those numbers keep climbing. Well, let's talk to Zeynep Alp, the editor and foreign rights manager at EDAM, a publishing company based right here in Istanbul. Thank you so much for being with us today, Zeynep. Thank you for having now, me. Now, first off, tell me about uh, what the fellowship program is and what type of people we can see at this program. The fellowship program is a professional organization that brings together publishers from around the world. Uh, we, our aim is to introduce the Turkish market to foreign publishers and for them to eat meet each other. So can we get the foreign market coming here as well? Yes. It's like a vice versa. Yes, we of... want the Istanbul Fellowship to become a hub for the copyright market from around the world. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what can we expect from the 2019th edition of the uh, Fellowship Program? It's, it's its fourth edition, if I'm yes, not uh, yes. mistaken. It's very new, but we have around 400 applications from 90 countries. Uh, we bring editors, publishers, agencies, and people representing publishing society, different publishing societies. So it, we want this to become uh, one of the leading markets of copyright sales in the world. Now, Zainab, tell me about uh, where else in the world that we can see programs like this and where Turkey stands uh, in this sector. Well, this is uh, actually a unique fellowship program because it's organized by a publishing society. There is a large fellowship like this in Sharjah and there is one in Guadalajara, Mexico. Uh, the fellowship programs are generally quite small. Uh, like in Frankfurt, for example, they bring around uh, 17 to 20 editors and publishers from around the world and they introduce the German market to these people. But here, our aim is to bring uh, all different publishers from around the world, large and small, and give them an opportunity to introduce themselves. Uh, we bring small publishers as well, as with, together with very large publishers. So this is a great opportunity for them to get to know the publishing industry from around the world and different trends. And uh, the publishing societies come together and they talk about the future of the, of the publishing in the industry. Uh, like the new trends, uh, audiobooks, ebooks, and uh, management strategies within wow, the field. Wow, so it's, it's a really good platform for emerging publishers as well to network with well based publishers yes. in, the, in the market. Yes. Um, now, translators also play a huge role uh, in this market as well, I'm guessing, because yes. it's being translated uh, from one language to the next. Tell yes. me about the role that they play and the importance of translators. Translators are very important because when you have a work that you want to introduce to a, to a new culture, you have to make sure you translate it correctly, uh, but also sometimes you have to do uh, localization as well, especially with children's publications. So translators are very important. And we have uh, grants for translations. The Turkish Minister of Culture provides the TEDA grant uh, to publishers who would like to publish, translate Turkish books, Turkish literature into different languages. Mm -hmm. And the works of translators are vi vital in this uh, situation. If I'm not mistaken, you've translated yes. your fair share of books as well. Yes. How, how is that process? How's that experience? It uh, depends on the book. It's, very, it's fun, but it can be very stressful as well. Uh, I've translated from both Turkish to English and English to Turkish. And I've even translated uh, one children's book from Arabic to Turkish. Wow. And it's, it's really fun, but it's a very uh, long process, especially if it's um, a non-fiction or fiction book for adults. Uh, that's a long process. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Yeah. Now tell me a bit about the access that uh, this fellowship program gives to the publishing market. And how many people can actually be exposed uh, to Turkish literature due to this program? Uh, we bring uh, a lot of publishers here. Like this year, we are going to choose 200 publishers. Mm -hmm. And when they come, they learn about the market and they go back to their country and they 
become in a way our representatives in their country because they talk about the fellowship program. Uh, and many publishers in Turkey who do not have the opportunity to attend international fairs get to introduce their books and their publications to all these foreign publishers and it's been a great opportunity for a lot of publishers in Turkey. I can imagine. Um, now another aspect uh, that highlights this program is the funding uh, for foreign publishers. Tell me a bit about that. Uh, we have uh, three different uh, packages. The first package is fully paid everything, flight and uh, accommodation, translation fees, uh, tr translators fees. Mm -hmm. And the second package is uh, accommodation. And the third package is for people who would like to come themselves, but all the fees during the fellowship program are funded uh, by the program itself. Zeynep Pipe, thank you so much for joining us on Showcase and sharing your insight on the Istanbul Fellowship Program. Thank you very much for having me.